Hello guys, I'd like to share all of my skateboard story from the beginning with you. This was the moment when I tried my first electric skateboard for the first time. Back then, there wasn't a power limitation at all. I couldn't help but scream because it was so powerful, so fast and so exciting. I took videos and pictures as many as possible in order to share what I've done with you. I bought a pintail longboard from a sports shop in Finland called Stadium. Three years ago, I bought a small skateboard from near grocery store. I practiced riding a skateboard with it. It was very difficult, but that practice was really helpful for me to drive the big longboard. Anyway, this board is pintail board. Back then, I didn't know anything about the longboard. I later regretted of buying this board because rear is too narrow to put your feet on there. When you drive over 10 minutes, it gets tired easily because all of your weight goes to rear when you start. If you want to buy a longboard for skateboard, please buy this shape longboard. I will put all of the link in the description. The black device with a yellow stripe is a charger which I bought with the batteries. In order to charge lithium batteries, we need either this kind of specific uh, charger or BMS, as known as battery Man management system. At the time, since I didn't have any BMS yet, I had to open the case and charge manually every time it needs. These are the batteries. It was 42 volt with 3000 mAh battery when I began with. With was powerful, even the capacity was a little bit smaller than what I am using these days. At this moment, I am using 9000 mAh batteries. 3 mAh is enough for 8 km range with 70 kg. If you are not familiar with electricity, I recommend you to buy a well-made battery pack rather than using this. Managing this kind of battery is very tricky and picky. You always need to be careful when you charge, discharge, and store them. The only one reason why I bought this is power and budget. This is a pouch for safety, just in case fire. This hub motor was my favorite. Of course, these wheels are very, very nice, but I have been suffered from vibration and shock from the wheels because the thickness of rubber retin was way too smaller than normal wheels. The shock from ground was not absorbed enough. Hull motor has motor inside of the wheels. Wheel means motor, motor means wheel. The radius of these are 90 mm. The bigger the better I would say. There are three big terminals for power, five cables with white connector for sensor. I replaced the three big terminals to another reliable cable and connectors. This image shows how I made enclosure with 3D printer. This application is called Fusion 360 from Autodesk. It's very powerful and handy once you learn a bit. In the picture, the bigger case is for battery and the other is for a vascular motor driver. 
This design was very simple and primitive. I don't use this case anymore, but it was nice try though. You can always download my final latest 3D models from the link. If you have a 3D printer, you can always print the case by yourselves. Another option is to buy a case from online shops. It is not that expensive and looks good. I will share the link with you. When I started to build electric skateboard, there's no option like this, all in one case and deck. I would buy this one if I knew it. Now I'm going to show you how I fix the batteries on the board. I used the screws from IKEA. The small parts are for holding the batteries. I place the batteries on the board, put the holders around them, and put the screws through the holes on the holder. At the beginning, I didn't care of uh, batteries very much. When I tried to fix those parts on the board, a sharp corner of that part pushed the side wall of a battery. The battery got a nailed shape scratch. I was so worried about the batteries because it is explosive and dangerous if it is exposed on the air. Luckily, it was okay. I changed the design for the battery holder. I got inspired from a strip of shoes. At last, I fixed the batteries with those strings. Because I didn't have the BMS, I had to expose those connectors and cables outside of the enclosure. Every time I need to charge them, I need to use the white small connectors, which is JST 2.4 connectors. I also assembled the, the other parts, which was for a VASC. This part is relatively easier than the front part because it is smaller. This is the VASC, V-E-S-C, a powerful but open source motor driver. This board takes your remote control signal and runs motors. It is slightly more expensive than a normal ESC, but it worth buying. There are so many advantages of using this board. You will see soon about this. The first thing I did with the board is soldering the power connectors. This connector is very commonly used around the world for the harvest. I bought FSESC, which is uh, manufactured by Flipsky. Since the manufacturer uses the open source, all the firmware and circuits are compatible with each other. I selected Flipsky because they were cheap. You can also use another manufacturer's VASC. I tried to set up the wheels with alligator clips for the motors. The noise from the motor is okay. At the first time, I was worried about the noise and vibration, but it was the way of finding the parameters. Setting motors was okay, but I couldn't run motors with them. It turned out that the cables with clips were too small. It couldn't carry a large amount of current properly. I replaced the connectors to the better one. This is 3.5 mm bled connector. You can see what I bought in the link. Mm -hmm. 
after soldered all the connectors. I put a heat shrink so they won't be short each other. There is one issue with the power switch from Flip Sky. The switch is off when it gets shock. Some of the users reported that issue on the skate forum. Mine was also bad, so I replaced that to my switch. Check your switch by hitting ground before you install it. Push the switch and try hitting the ground. If the switch released, you should change it. The new product image has a different switch. The manufacturer probably knows the issues and sells fast with another switch. I hook up the connectors properly and set up the motor by using FASC tool, which is also available in online. I had to install a remote receiver, but the receiver was coming from AliExpress. My colleague who had taught me a lot since I decided to make a board, lent me a receiver and remote. This is the first moment I rode on my skateboard. There are many many stories that I've got such as switch, batteries, BMS, remote controller which could have killed me, vibration, making another board, etc. I will share those things one by one with you. Thank you for watching. See you again. Bye.